I got my badge for the 24th edition of Critical Communications World. It's, by the way, the third time this event is going to be held in Dubai. Uh, the second time in the World Trade Center and uh, last time it was 2018. Uh, that was a more localized event, a more regional event actually, uh, at another location. This is the World Trade Center, 170 exhibitors will exhibiting here. And there is one person at the booth of Hyterra I would love to speak, and that's Dylan Liu. Uh, exhibition is opening in a few minutes. I think I already go inside. This is Dylan Yu. Uh, he's the marketing manager of Hyterra. Dylan, yeah. uh, a lot has happened here in the UAE, right? And there's lots on show at Hyterra. Yes. Um, products that we know, yeah. but also products that we don't know, and mm -hmm. products that are about to be released. I heard, but yes. but can you? What is on show? Um, so where to start? So basically, um, with this show, our intention is try to enlarge. The understanding, I mean, from the public that Hyterra is not a just a PMR vendor any longer. We are more than that. So from um, MCS, uh, converted native MCS, we can converge everything together, different technology, and collect it as one platform. And also uh, like body cam and digital evidence management. So we can also um, set up like as one stop -so solution. So basically, Hyterra now is a PMR vendor. Is M M MCS, MCS vendor and it's also a body cam vendor and a control room. So um, there's some, a lot of things going on. Uh, uh, we try to leverage a relevant technology trend to regenerate Hyterra as a, a technolog te technological uh, innovator in the market. This is Agata Zoo. Um, Agata, um, uh, you're having something in your hand, which is which I haven't seen before. <laughs> and I heard this is not yet available, right? Yes. And it looks like a body camera. Yes. So please explain. Actually, this is the Hyteras new release, the body camera SC880, and it's a 5G, 5G body camera. It can support to access to the 5G networks. So uh, it can also bring you more um, high higher performance features like uh, 4K resolutions, live streaming. That means uh, with the 5G network, you can live stream the 4K resolutions video to the command center. Uh, that means the dispatcher can get more details uh, through this body camera and it can use it as the vi uh, mobile video surveillance camera. All right, so it has 5G live streaming capabilities. So that's, that's great, right? That is, that's very important. Low latency with 5G, because that's important, right? Yes. Low yes. latency. Yeah, millisecond. Uh, we talk about milliseconds, right? Yeah. yeah. So so that's all about, that's so interesting. You need low latency because, you know, you want to know exactly what's going on at that specific time, right? Yes, yes, at the scene. exactly. So this is not yet out, right? Uh, it's only in China, but the bandwidth will be changed in, for this region. Yeah. And that's it. Okay. So it looks pretty, pretty neat. It looks pretty awesome, as you can see. It's a, uh, it's it's a nice body camera. It fits right. It it has the right size. Okay, and nighttime possibility. That's also okay. Yeah, yes, okay. we have the night vision technology inside it. You can see that uh, upper and uh, here yes. uh, two infrared light in, inside it. So in the night, night uh, in the night and uh, in some dark condition, uh, the uh, the infrared light will be automatically turn on, uh, turn on and you can capture the clear footage in the dark condition also. 
And uh, you, maybe you can see that Hytera for the camera has a, a special design that's the PTT key. This is similar to the, our narrowband radios. Um, so you don't need the narrowband radio to push the PTT button. Yeah. You just can push the PTT on the body cam. Yes. Uh, well, that's an interesting integration, right? That, 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 that is so. Yeah, okay. it's cost effective. It means you buy one terminal, but inside you got two. You can push yeah. the button. As, as if this is just the radio. Um, and that's even amazing because it's, it's cost effective. We have a Hawk, Hawk application inside it. That's a push to drop over cellular. Oh, you can push here to generate the that's, you, you haven't seen it yet, but this is, you can push the button. And I can talk right now, right? Yeah. All right, so, so, so. Hello, this is Katja Wolf from CCW24. So I'm always amazed how smart these devices work, right? But the reason why this idea occurred in our R&D mind is that because when the officer wear a body one camera, but in fact, think about the scenario they're gonna work about. They also need one video, right? Yeah. So why? Why we just combine two just into one? See? Also, uh, if you already have a narrowband radio, you can just uh, uh, connect this body camera and your narrowband radios with cable or the Bluetooth. Then when you press this PDD key, that generates the uh, communications of the narrowband radios. We call this smart engineering. Up to the next product. Okay, this is David from yeah. Hytera. Um, when, when I think about Tetra, I think about narrowband. Yeah. And that's right. just voice communication, so that's it. Yeah. But you guys take, take it also one step further. Yeah. Because there's so yeah. much more possible with Tetra, right? Yes. Okay, you're gonna show me here yeah. something that is extremely interesting. Yeah, because sure. when you are in a danger situation, mm. you just want to shout out, and you can, right? Yeah, yeah. So what's so happening here? That that's called the AI voice command in our latest Tetra radio, the PT590. Yeah. So now when you think about it, if in some emergency situation and you like the uh, drop down there and you cannot use your hand to touch the, uh, the radio. And yeah. in this situation, you need to talk to someone in, uh, to uh, ask for help uh, and what you can do. But if you have the LiDAR Hytera PT590, then you can use this voice command. You can like say, hi radio. I'm here. Okay, you here? <laughs> <laughs> that is so awesome. Let me show you. Let yeah. me show you. Well, okay. Okay. This is the radio over here. Yeah. So say again. Say again. Uh, this is the Hytera latest radio PT590, which can support the AI stop, stop. voice command. Okay. Can you say something to the radio? Hi, radio. I'm here. Make a call. Make a call. Make a call. Amazing. Amazing. This is. And the call radio. So you can see, like that's the latest technology introduced uh, in our the new platform, the radio PT590. Uh, okay, so how mm. many commands can you give them? Uh, so far we can support uh, 20 commands. 20 yeah. commands. Yeah, okay. in English. Which are the mm. most important ones, of course? Any different languages? Uh, no, now only support the English, but we will develop to support the other languages. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. if it's AI, it can do anything, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah, it's not the record voice inside. Actually, it's based on our lighter chip, and then they can learn the language, and then they can analyze the, what's the meaning of the language, okay. and then they can. Uh, to, to do the command right. action based on is it, is it connected with the cloud or is it locally? Uh, it's clo locally. Locally, AI, yeah. okay. okay. Because that's yeah. important, right? You yeah. don't want to be connected with the yeah, cloud. Yeah, sure, sure. When you're, there's no any coverage, you still need to trust your right. radio. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Haley. Haley Zhang. Zhang. Yes. Zhang. Yes. Zhang. Yes. Zhang. Yes. Okay, Haley. Now, now Sorry, we have Tetra and we uh -huh. have Broadband, right? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And I see something like dual mode radio, automatic roam across PMR LT house, mobile video dispatch, terminal touch. Yes. That's that's a whole sentence. Yes. In short, 
you combine tetra and broadened. Yes. So, what does that mean? How is it being? How is it combined? Is it combined in those radios that we are looking at? Mm -hmm. Or how does that work? Uh, usually, usually uh, like this, a narrowband system uh, in my terminals will only register to narrowband system, so they communicate with narrowband terminals. Yes. So in which way our access uh, converts this uh, hydro system, then our broadband uh, terminals will communicate with our narrowband terminal. And that goes through high top or not also? Uh, yes, high top is the same. But the difference is high top is the top system. Yes. PTTO or cellular. Yes. But our access is very deep integrated with uh, MNO operators network. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So you put the SIM card of the operator into the terminal? Yes. So when I'm out of coverage of Tetra, yes. it runs back to LTE. Yes, uh, as long as you have uh, the terminal can get the LTE network, then they can use uh, LTE uh, on system. If uh, there are some area that the uh, LTE network is not that good, then you can use then you can use Tetra systems. And uh, if there is a uh, Courage that uh, has LT network and Tetra network, then you can use both. So the, the general does the thinking for you. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you.